Yo, piece of the twelve, man. So this video ain't gonna be too long. I just, I'm just gonna title this "The Black Buffoon," man, because this is the caricature that they always have the so-called black man portrayed in these movies, man. So I just wanted to play these two clips, and then I'm gonna get some scriptures. But first, I'm gonna go to, you know, speaking of byword, I we're gonna come back to this in a minute. But let's play these clips real quick, man, and you'll see what I mean. You might not even peep this. You might not even peep this, so let's just get it. I'm going to shut up and play this. Change. This will be a very controversial video. It will make <laughs> You see that man? Alright, let's get a scripture. That's why I call this the black buffoon, man. It's like a caricature. They have they have us playing, man, these damn movies, right? Let's look at a byword, alright? This is the etymological term of the word byword, right? This is by word, proverb, word or phrase. Let's see this. Usually in a satirical or bad sense. And that's exactly what this shit is, man. Right? Let's get scriptures on it now. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a by word among all the nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Yeah. In other words, you're going to become a satirical, you know. Oh, like I'll give you an example. Oh, all black people, you know, and black's not a race, by the way. All right. The word black means the void of light. All right. Israelites are the children of light. So it's an insult. But anyway, man. So they say, oh, you so-called black people are all scared of ghosts, you know, and it's just madness, man. You know, for example, they just think we're scared, scared of shit. You know, where does that come from? You know, when I was growing up in school. I, I told people that I didn't smoke weed and I didn't do none of that shit. And these and these damn devils, right? So these uh these pale people, they they looked at me and said, "Wait, are you even black?" So that show you what. It's just satire. They just think, what's the definition of satire? Let's get that, man. Let's get the definition of satire. The use of humor, irony, exaggeration, ridicule. All right, to expose and criticize people's stupidity and vices, man. Particularly in the context of contemporary politics or other topical issues, man. All right, let's get the etymology of it. I want to see the etymology. Give me one second. I didn't even plan this one out. Let's get the etymology of the word satire. Hmm, a literary work. humor all right they put us on the level of a damn minstrel in these videos like that clip just played man let's get minstrel <laughs> a minstrel right man why is it always see, that's why i hate using dictionaries man just give me the etymological word man just give me the etymology where I'm sorry, man. I didn't have this brand out. I just was watching some of these clips and I just thought, man, look at look at this, man. Look at this madness they got us portrayed as. And you know, a lot of Jake, they like they like that, man. They like when we're portrayed as the damn idiot. You know. I'll probably do a bigger video on this topic. I, I, this wasn't gonna be a long video. What was what was I looking up? Minstrel. Salakia. A servant, man. Good for nothing. See that? Good for nothing. A jester, a fucking clown, man. 
All right, that's how they want to portray as a clown. Look at this. Even got this right. Negro melodies. Plantation life. Usually white man in blackface. All right, so they just got us playing being clowns. Good for nothing. Kevin Hart, he shoots the shotgun. He flies back like a clown. You know, Will Smith gets his ass whooped. And men in black the whole time. Finn's a bumbling idiot. He doesn't know anything. I mean, y'all saw a clip. So let's let's play this one too while I'm at it, man. Let's play this one. Then I'm going to get some more scriptures and I'm going to close out. John's description of black characters and blockbusters couldn't be more spot on. They're always scared. They're always friggin' sweating. And to make sure it's very clear he's talking about his character's poor treatment, starting with The Last Jedi, he also adds about JJ's return. I, I rest my case. Madness. Let's get more scripture. So, Proverbs, that guy's a satire. It's a damn joke, man. All right, verse, verse. And these are curses, man. To be a byword, that's a curse. To be a joke. The running joke. The middle of the joke, man. 1 Kings 9 and 7. Then will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them in this house which I have hollowed for my name. Will I cast out of my sight and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people, man. That's why you watched the movie Rush Hour, right? I think it was the second one, Rush Hour 2, right? When Carter's asking these uh, so-called Chinese people around, right? And, and what that old lady look at him and say? She, said, she said something like, get out the way, Kobe. You know, once again, associating him with a damn ball, ball, that basketball player, man. Like a satire. All right? <laughs> you know, like a damn stereotype. Like, what's the word? Look at that. Hold on, give me a second. A stereotype, right? An oversimplified notion. Characteristics typical of a person or a group, man. You know, like a fucking joke. More scriptures, man. <laughs> then while I plucked them up by the roots of my, out of my land, which I given them, and this house which I have sanctified for that for my name, will I cast out of my sight and will make it to be a proverb and a byword among all nations. You know, he hath made me also a byword of the people. And aforetime I was a tabret. What's what's tabret mean? Let's see. I don't even know what that word means. Let's see what the word tabret means. Uh, a table, a slab for display. Okay, let's see. Give me a second, actually. I don't think that's the term I was looking for. So, bear with me one second. A tablet. Let's get. Let's go to tools. Okay, a tablet, right? Kind of all over the place, man. I didn't expect to go this deep into it, but let's let's get it regardless. A tablet from the base, a smiting. Oh, originally we were contempt, but now contempt. That's what it means. Originally we were contempt, but now we're now we're now we're we're, uh, we're we're by words among the people, man. Yeah, now we're a byword of the people. A four time we were contempt, man. All right, what's contempt mean? Disregard, disobedience, to cut. She who despises, man. So we're despised. Anyway, man. And now I am Job thirty. And now I am their song. Yeah, I am their byword. You see, now I'm the song. I'm their byword. Let's get this. Let's get this song. Um, three. For those of you that don't know, look at this. 
This is a song called 10 Little N Words, man. Right? 10 Little N Word Boys went out to dine. They actually made a song about it, man. They called us 10 Little N Word Boys, man. Let me get you another song. Um, What's this? Uh, um, let me get you another song. That's how you know. That's how you know who you are, man. I'm an Alabama N word. See that? I'm an Alabama N word. I'ma be free. I when I play Call of Duty, man. When I used to play Call of Duty like that all the time, people used to say that, man, on the mic. It's going back to the scripture, right? And now I am their song. Yeah, I am their byword, man. You see what I'm saying? Let's see something else. Let's get a, let's get a, is it another song I wanted? You, you get, y'all get the point though. All right. They got us as damn, damn songs, man. They got us as damn bywords, man. All right. I don't know if I can hear that, but it's lucky if I can, but. Psalms 44 and 14. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. A shaking of the head among the people. That's right. People shake their head. Oh, yeah. Look at those people. You know. They just shake their head, man. People brag about smoking on so-and-so. All that madness. All right. Now, check this out. Psalms 80 and 6. Thou make us the strife unto our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. That's right. They laugh at us, man. They laugh at these these clips of Finn being a clown and all these other characters, man. They love they love these these movies. You know. Who are and who are our enemies? Alright. Our enemies laugh among themselves. Who are our enemies? Psalms eighty three. On down, a song of or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O God, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make it to moat. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off for being a nation. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right? So our enemies say that. Who are our enemies? These heathen. These other nations. Right? It's about to, it's about to list our enemies. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. And the Ishmaelites and of Moab and the Hagarenes, Gabal, Ammon, Amalek, Philistines, Tyre, Assur. They have hope in the children of Lot, man. The Midianites are due unto them as they did the Midianites to Sisera. That's the jabbing, man. Point is what? This list right here is a list of our enemies, man. That's what he's, you know, these other nations, these heathen, right? Now check this out. What did it say? Thine enemies make it to moat, man. So these people are enemies. Straight up, man. And they laugh at us, man. Alright. That's what they see you as. A damn clown, man. An entertainer. A minstrel. A joke, man. I just wanted to point that out, man. You know. Let's get another scripture on that. Second Ezra 6 and 57, man. Let's see. Let's see here. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to, to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands. All right. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess the inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So, man, you know, he's asking, like, these people who are even better than, you know, who... Who we were more, who 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 you love? Now we're under them, man. You know, and they devour us, man. And they do. So it's it's just a sad thing, man. Everyone's a damn character. Their caricature, man. Let's get this. The Nat caricature. Um, is this it? Oh no. You know, I'm, I'm probably doing another. Look at this, the the 
the caricature of the uh, Kaun. All right. Uh, dehumanized, right? Portrayed as lazy, easily frightened, chronically idle, inarticulate buffoon. That's why I named this thing the Black Buffoon, man. You know, almost damn near all these characters are one of these things easily frightened, lazy, chronically idle, inarticulate, don't know what the hell's going on, and a damn buffoon, man. Like a perpetual child, a servant. See that? Look at that, man. So, I just wanted to show y'all that, man. I ain't gonna make this too long. I think of all these characters, right? Rush Hour, Carter, he acts like that. Men in Black. Um, Kevin Hart, he acts like that in damn near every movie, man. Right? Donkey. Mushu. Alright, man. So, man, with that, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to say peace to the 12. I'm going to give all honor and pra praises and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, who is ignorantly called God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of the Savior of the nation of Israel, who is ignorantly called Jesus Christ, man. Peace to the 12. Like I said, you know, I want to give a shalom, a peace to the people that are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. All right, with a sincere heart. And I want to give a shalom to the people that are listening and learning, man, getting better in this thing. All right, I'm gone.